Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hunter Hauk, this is one of my leopard geckos, Peyton, and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to tame your leopard gecko. This will work with leopard geckos of pretty much any age, regardless of whether they're an adult, a juvenile, or even a hatchling. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to address something that a lot of you guys have sent me messages about, especially in the recent months. I made a community tab post about this, but anyways, a lot of you guys were asking if I had a P.O. box, and actually I do, so I'm not going to put it in the description or anything, because sometimes that'll get people to send you like junk mail and stuff, and that's kind of annoying, but if you want to send me anything, that P.O. box number, or that P.O. box address, where you can send me cool stuff like letters, or if there's something you think that I should have. Like, if you just want to send me a letter or a package or something, please don't feel obligated to. But if you do want to, you can go to fanmail.hunterhawk.com or go down in the description where it does say fanmail and click the link. And, yeah, I would appreciate it, but again, feel, don't feel like you have to. I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of you guys have asked me about that. Um, if you send me a letter or a package, I will send you an email back, like a big thank you email. I can't send everyone like a physical letter back because that would cost me <laughs> a lot of money in stamps and stuff, but I do just want to say thank you to all of you who do that. So be sure to put your email address somewhere in the package so that I can thank you for that. And if you don't want it opened on camera, let me know. And if you do want it opened on camera, let me know. Like write it on the envelope or box or something. Just let me know. And again, you don't have to send me anything, but if you want to, you can go to fanmail.hunterhawk.com and all of the information about sending me packages or letters or even a fan email is there. Again, thank you so much to everyone who has reached out about that. Now let's actually get into the video. One thing that you need to remember about taming your leopard gecko is that leopard geckos are prey animals. So in the wild, they're like pretty far down on the food chain. They're not at the bottom, but they are certainly not at the top either. So they are going to be kind of scared at first until you've gained their trust because in the wild, something your size would probably try to eat them. So it's understandable that they would be pretty nervous around you, but eventually you'll get them as tame as Peyton here. So for those of you who are new to the channel, I just want to give you a little background on Peyton's tail, why it looks like this. A few months ago she did drop her tail and it's almost completely grown back but it's still regaining color to look normal. I have no idea why she dropped her tail. I think like some a noise on the road or something must have been loud and scared her and it was while she was shedding her skin so yeah it was a fluke accident and she is still tame and stuff so this just goes to show that once you have your leopard gecko tame they're awesome, awesome animals. When you first bring home your leopard gecko, you need to give them space because they're already getting used to a new enclosure and new environment and new sights and smells and new lighting and just new everything. Their entire life has changed. So I would definitely recommend leaving them alone so they can get used to their new enclosure and new environment before they have to get used to a new person as well. So I would definitely say wait at least a week after getting your leopard gecko before you try to handle them because then they will be settled into their enclosure and they won't be afraid of that. But they still might be a little afraid of you so you'll have to give them lots of time to settle in. It's not something that you can just tame your leopard gecko in 24 hours. It's going to take weeks or months to get them as tame as Peyton is here. I've had her for almost two years and we're still working on getting her completely tame. But if you do give your leopard gecko that time and the space to let them trust you, they will become an amazing pet and an amazing part of your family. So be sure to just give them space when you first get them so that they can get used to everything before they'll get used to you. After the first week with your leopard gecko, you can start gradually handling them a little bit. So what I would first do is just every day put your hand in their tank for maybe five or ten minutes and just leave it there. Don't even pick them up. Sometimes they'll come sniff you, sometimes not. And just don't pick them up. Just leave it in there so that they kind of get used to your hand and know that they're 
that it's not there to hurt them. Next, I would definitely recommend tong feeding if possible. Peyton here still doesn't take food from the tongs, but Pippin, my other leopard gecko, she does. So some leopard geckos will, some leopard geckos won't, but if your leopard gecko does accept food from tongs, that's going to be the, the easiest way to tame them. The way to a leopard gecko's heart is through their stomach. <laughs> If you guys like the hoodie that I'm wearing, I just want to plug the merch a little bit real quick. This is my merchandise. I have it in all sorts of fun stuff. We have hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, stickers, all sorts of good stuff. And it's really high quality. I wear it super often and it has Peyton here on it around some hibiscus flowers. So if you want to get that, you can go to shop.hunterhout.com. That's just my name, shop. My name's not shop. <laughs> my name is Hunter Hout. So shop.hunterhawk.com, and you can get that. This here is Pippin, my blizzard leopard gecko. Um, she is actually about to go into shed. So here's another tip that I want to give. When your leopard gecko is in shed, definitely don't hold them. Here, I'm just going to feed her a mealworm real quick because she's... See, she's a great eater, and she's learned that whenever I hold her, I give her food. So she likes being held. Anyways, back to my point. I really wouldn't recommend holding your leopard gecko when they're in shed. She is not quite in shed, but she probably will shed within the next three or four days. And this is a time that's kind of stressful for them, so I just really would recommend leaving them alone when they're in shed because they have enough to focus on shedding their skin and then eating it. Oh, by the way, I just fed her a mealworm. Um, that's definitely not the greatest thing to feed your leopard gecko all the time. If you want to watch my video all about feeding leopard geckos, I will link that right there. So I have had Pippin here for about just under six months. It'll be six months here in a couple of weeks. But anyway, she is a blizzard leopard gecko, which means that she's crazy. So there are different morphs of leopard geckos, and most of them act like a normal leopard gecko, but blizzards, not quite. So blizzards are known to just have quite the attitude some blizzards actually can never do even this, but Pippin, I've gotten very, very lucky with her. I have dedicated hours, probably hundreds of hours, to taming Pippin, so she has definitely, we've broken through and gained a lot of trust, but blizzards, they just don't like people that often, so she is never going to be the type of gecko that's going to walk right up into my hand, but if I have food on tongs in front of my hand, she'll definitely let me hold her. But she would rather explore my hoodie than be on my hand. Which, speaking of, come here, Pippin. Come on up where the people can see you. They want to see you because you're so adorable. See, we'll just let her exist right here for now. But yeah, she's adorable. Anyways, if you have a baby leopard gecko especially, holding them can be super, super dangerous because if they do decide to jump and they were to hit the floor, they can break their little bones or damage their tiny little organs. So I would recommend holding them with like your hands over a bed or sitting on the floor when you hold them just so that you know you're being super, super safe because they are tiny little animals and they're super, super delicate. So when you go to pick up your leopard gecko, I'll insert a clip over the screen here in just a second, but what you're going to want to do is don't like pick it up like this. You're going to want to kind of scoop it from under until they step up on your hands. That way it's their decision to get on your hands. It's actually not, but they think it is. It's all up here for them. So overall, this is kind of a short video, <laughs> but my advice mainly, just if you want to tame your leopard gecko, is consistency and do it on their terms. If your leopard gecko isn't happy, they're never going to be to the point where you can open their door of their enclosure and they'll climb up on you like Peyton does sometimes. I'm not saying that your leopard gecko will ever do that every time, but there are some times that I'll open her sliding door and she'll just walk right up on my arm because she knows that that usually means fun, good things are happening. So every single day when they're a baby, you want to at least put your hand in there and stuff, or spend some time watching them, let them watch you, like Pippin is watching me right now from her enclosure. 
because you have to let them know that you're there and that you will never hurt them because they are tiny and they are afraid so you have to let them know that you're like you just want to give them a good life they don't have the mental capacity to understand what's going on sometimes but you can let them know that you're not going to hurt them and eventually they'll associate coming out of their enclosure with you with being a fun good thing so again not every single day especially when you're taming them but every single day you should spend some time watching them now being calm like say your leopard gecko does for some reason get away like if you're sitting on the floor and they do run somewhere don't scream and chase them and stuff you want to wait until they've calmed down and then kind of put your hand out and kind of brush them up onto your hand and then don't put them back because that'll teach them that as soon as they run away they can go back in their tank you want to put them back at a time when they're calmed down and they're letting you hold them nicely so if they're running around the whole time and you put them back because they aren't really enjoying it at first, they'll know that every time I run around and act crazy, I'll get put back in my enclosure, so whenever they want to go back, they'll do that. Instead, teach them that when they behave, they can go back whenever they want, because then they'll want to behave all the time. And by behave, I don't mean like, roll over, sit, obviously they couldn't roll over. <laughs> I don't mean like doing commands or anything, I just mean like being calm and chill and collected. And again, there are going to be some leopard geckos that just never like to be held. And that's a risk that you're taking by getting the leopard gecko. So you always have to do what they want, even if it's not always the most fun for you. Like if they are shedding like that, I had to put Pippin away because she was shedding. And that makes me sad that I can't hold her, but it makes me happy knowing that she's gonna get all that shed off safely and healthily and not be stressed out or anything so you always have to put their needs first because that is pretty much it for today's video if you did enjoy it please hit the thumbs up and comment down below what you learned from this video i don't care if you learned nothing be like i learned nothing or if you learned like hey this thing i didn't know about be sure to comment that down below because i want to know what you guys learned the most that you hadn't seen from other places because I'm working on a complete leopard gecko care guide and I will have a short section about handling and then I'll just link this video up in the cards if someone wants to learn more about handling but I want to be able to put those main facts in there that people don't know so be sure to tell me what that is and also tell me if you do have a leopard gecko what your biggest tips are for someone else and if I forgot anything or if you would recommend doing differently than I do just let me know because I want everyone to have the resources that they need to build a strong bond with their leopard gecko. Now if you want to see more of Pippin and Peyton and Prada and Parker and Persephone, all of my reptiles and amphibians have P names, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That is at HunterHawkOfficial, so it's just my name followed by official, and that is linked in the description of course. If you want to get this hoodie, don't forget you can get this at shop.hunterhawk.com or if you want to get a name decal for your reptile, I sell those too at shop.hunterhawk.com. All sorts of cool stuff and we're definitely thinking about expanding to other cool reptile stuff. So I would appreciate your support so that I can do that. If you haven't already, be sure to click subscribe if this is a video that you enjoyed and you're new here because chances are if you enjoyed this one, you'll probably enjoy my other videos. Right now I'm posting every Tuesday and every Saturday. Um, sometimes Saturdays are a live stream day though. So yeah, you can come interact with me and have fun. Okay, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.